Good morning, scholar and practitioner, dear Dharma friends and Dharma teacher. Uh, today is on Saturday, October 1, 2011. My Dharma name is Venerable Thet Trung Sĩ. My Dharma brother name is Senior Venerable Thet Nguyen Kim, and my Dharma friend Thet uh, Phuc Thanh. We are from the Kolam Temple, receiving the invitation from the Dhamma teacher uh, and being guided and uh, followed by the most venerable Thich Nguyen An, the head of Kolam Temple. We are very happy to stand here to present my topic. Um, attend annual regional Buddhist teachers, uh, teacher meeting at Sakya Monastery in Seattle, hosted by the Northwest uh, Dharma Association. My topic presented here is the relationship teach, between teacher and student, student and teacher in Buddhist education. Everyone and everything in this world, more or less have interrelationship and interconnection with one another either indirectly or directly between people and people between people and animal between people and plants between people and nature natural environment so on and so forth on up the relationship, the relationship between people and people, especially the relationship between teacher and student, student and teacher are presented in this presentation. In this topic of this writing, we see the words of Buddhist education. Buddhist education is divided into two different words. Education and Buddhist education. The Pali words of education which are Sikha, Sikhana or Sikhapana. He knows teaching, instruction, training, study, learn, etc. And means ethical training, spiritual development of people. Education is used to prevent um, them from the abuse body and mind. It's not only teaches. It's not uh, only teaches some means of, of earning livelihood to the people, but also help them to live a steadily moral and spiritual spiritual life. Buddhist education was meant to avoid doing the evil, to do the good, to purify our minds, is the process of cultivating, recognizing, reforming and transform, um, transforming the wrong into the right, the unwholesome into the uh, wholesome, ignorant into clear understanding, human nature into Buddha nature, suffering into happiness, defilement into Buddha, etc. Buddhist education aims at training us to become, of, to become people of mindfulness and awakening, steadiness and carefreeness, peaceful joy and Happiness lies an awakened one. In the, the, the object of education and Buddhist education is mainly people. People here who here have many relationships with one another very closely, are uh, understood as teacher and student. In this, in Buddhist education, the relationship between teacher and student, student and teacher, uh, the specific relationship between connected together by sentiment of teacher and student, 
dust up brother or sisterhood dust up the dharma friends dust up the co-practitioner by a um, uh, mutual assistant mutual affection mutual love mutual respect etc rules the practice and application of the words honor ones teaching in their daily life in mindfully and awakenly steadily and reluctantly rise in this world as you know teachers are the older generation understood as instructor who saw the noble past students are the younger generation understood as an instructed people who have the, the um, capacity to follow the good path which the teacher has guided more instructor and instructed people have many relationships with one another very closely rules cultivation training application and the test of the dharma peace flavor to bring peace and happiness to the many. According to the intervened view, teacher and student, student and teacher are inheritor, transmitter and connector from the previous generation and uh, to present generation and future generation. Teachers who are the people of the former generation have the responsibility to connect solemnity, fine action, right speeches, right talk, right doing of teacher, of student teacher, and to transmit them to follower, student who are the people of the late generation have the duty and responsibility to join bodily teaching, verbal teaching, and thoughtful teaching of their teacher and to transmit them to the next generation, namely student disciple. Teacher and student, student and a teacher are both transmitter and connector both connector and transmitter both instructor and in inheritor and uh, inheritor and uh, instructor yes both kinds of those people have the ability to learn the dharma to the, understand the dharma to practice the dharma to protect the dharma of the buddha in the present as well as in the future on our the planet and brought um, understanding and practicing like this both teacher and student have the uh, capability to lead the buddhism to the future steadily and reluctantly root to our uh, root to uh, practice and application of words on one dharma in their daily life to bring benefits to themselves and to others right in this side the relationship between teacher and student student and teacher are very special important friendly and tight relationship in the process of preaching the dharma and serving human humanity First of all, both teacher and student lead their assembly life, mindful life, and awakening life, rules, inheritance of the Dharma, rather than inheritance of material goods. However, inheriting material goods approach actually at the right people, at the right place at the right work, at the right time, both teacher and student can bring benefits 
to many people because they are awakening practitioners who sought the, to live, who sought to live their awakening life, go together on the happy path, cultivate to liberate, make lives peaceful, peaceful. According to the Asian culture, especially Vietnamese culture, those who teach a, a lively experience, a good word, a good meaning, a useful and practical work, are our teacher. Indeed, in the Buddhist education, teacher play a very important of guy who show who show the peaceful and happy path to the disciple. In this chosen dumped the direction of going to freely, peaceful and freely. Both teacher and students want to light up the thoughts of the Dharma together. Light up the thought of love loving kindness for the present generation as well as the future generation. They who are oriented practitioners who have the, uh, the ability to bring peace, happiness, peace soon to themselves and to other on our planet. Moreover, as a practitioner of cultivation, the, uh, the awakening life awakening path on the con cultivation ways of going up to the up uh, upper uh, and the good to peaceful joy and liberation to peaceful and happiness for themselves and for the other both teacher and student one way understand and recognize their mindful thoughts species and action in every breath and gesture of their awareness to sum up proves they are both mentioned things. The relationship between teacher and student, student and teacher, a specific relationship in Buddhist education connected with one another very closely. By thoughts, speeches, and action of laws and understanding by sentiment of teacher and student, sentiment of Dhamma friends, sentiment of co-practitioner, that's of the Dhamma practitioner, um, protection and the Dhamma propagation rules are uh, practice of application of the Buddha Dhamma in their daily life to bring the peacefulness and happiness to the many people. The close relationship which are very practically present tightened together with the substance of cultivation with sentiment of mutual assistance with guidance and inheritance of the Dharma of the Lost Buddha mindfully and awakenly both teacher and student student and teacher that are the practitioner of peacefulness and liberation have the capability to protest, uphold, and develop Buddhism in the present as well as in the future, and have the ability to bring Buddhism to the future uh, brightly and uh, resplendently on our the world. My honor of you be well and instill the Buddha in his teaching. Thank you for your attention.